everybody just scream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Method Man recently attended the premiere of the Def Jam Rap Star video game, and he shares his thoughts on the game and also about the music industry. He was a driving force as part of the Wu-Tang Clan, and hip-hop music has changed dramatically since their ownership of the genre in the 90s. Method Man, who signed a solo deal while part of Wu-Tang with Def Jam, talked about the label's video game. If, the, if there's a consumer demand for it, they're going to keep pumping them out. And I hope there is a consumer demand for it because, like I said before, anything that advances this music called hip-hop is a good thing. I'll, when, when I play, I'll give you a prime example. When I play Street Fighter, it's like I can hear that music in the distance and know exactly what it is. You know what I'm saying? So regardless of how people feel or, or what they think of a hip-hop game that, you know, basically lets people make their own videos. I think it's a great idea, and um, there are some people out there that are going to love this game. As to what he's up to lately, he admits that he's trying to evolve while not getting sucked up into the current hip-hop culture. Stay relevant and um, to not conform to what's being heard and played now. Basically that, staying true to myself. Method was one of the first to try acting and even had a short-lived series with his co-collaborator, Redman. The show was canceled by Fox and contends it was distorted and not presented as initially intended. He also had a recurring role as Melvin Cheese Wagstaff on the acclaimed HBO drama series, The Wire.